Ciao guys and welcome back, I'm Luca and in today's video I will share with you my opinion and experience regarding the latest kit lens from Panasonic S cameras, the Panasonic 20-60mm f3.5-5.6 to zoom lens. I've been testing this lens on my Lumix S1 and S5 for almost 2 months and let me say that this kit lens is probably one of the most interesting lens you can find in the camera world. Because this is the lens all the landscape, cityscape and travel photographers were waiting for. But what is so special about this lens? In premise the focal range, because the 20mm can be wide enough to leave home the 16 to 35 zoom lens and 60mm can be tight enough to leave home the 24 to 70 or the 24 105 as well. And when you travel, having the opportunity to be covered from an ultra wide to a normal field of view just with a small, lightweight, sharp and weather sealed lens your life will be extremely easy and lightweight. And if you are afraid that 60mm is not long enough, consider that if you use the high resolution mode, that 60mm will be a 240mm equivalent thanks to the high resolution mode, because you will be able to crop quite a lot in your photo. This lens is able to capture sharp photos with good colors and with a decent 3D pop. This lens suffers a bit from a spherical chromatic aberrations and you can see it in the bokeh bolts where we can find a brighter outline around the bokeh and some onion rings inside the bokeh. Like all the new modern lenses we are seeing nowadays, this kit lens tends to crush the shadows to provide clean and sharp photos but that can be a little problem if you film videos because you're gonna lose a bit of dynamic range. In case you like the look of the images I'm sharing in this video, I will put the link in the description where you can buy this lot and support the channel to keep it alive. I admit that I like quite a lot the sun stars provided by this lens, they are pretty defined and sharp if you stop down the lens to f22 at 20 mm and if you plan to shoot directly toward the sun, this lens suffers from lens flares but these flares will have a nice purple color and the contrast will be well maintained. But what's not so special about this lens? Considering that we bought this lens probably because of the 20mm focal length, to have a good amount of corner sharpness we have to stop down the lens to f8, but the vignetting and the barrel distortion will be pretty strong and wild even if we stop down the aperture to f22. The lens doesn't have internal optical stabilization and that's a pity because this lens could have been the perfect lens also for vloggers considering that at 20 mm there is a huge amount of warping edges in the corners of our videos because of the ibis of the camera but considering the size and weight of this lens we cannot really complain about these little defects i seriously think that this lens is a must have for every minimalist travel photographer that is not looking for the absolute best image quality but he cares to capture a huge amount of images with different perspectives both for landscape or cityscape without swapping lenses in my case i plan to use this lens just for landscape photography during my vacations where i don't want to bring heavy and serious lenses with me and sometimes i plan to use it also for street photography or for family photography when I don't want to manual focus with my vintage lenses. I really hope that one day Panasonic will make a 20 to 60 constant f2.8 that is gonna be stabilized but until then I think we can have a lot of fun with this uh, little kit lens. And if you are curious to know how this lens compares to the Panasonic 24-105 f4, be tuned because soon I will release a comparison video between these two lenses. But this is it for today guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you so much for watching, I hope I'll see you next time.